50 cents for an IPTV subscription package. I mean, that has to be the cheapest package I've ever seen. And this article that broke on Torrent Freak yesterday shows that this particular pirate IPTV uh, company was selling packages as low as 50 cents per month. And they've now been shut down by the BN Media Group because they won an emergency injunction to stop this Tunisian retailer selling that pirate IPTV subscription. Now the company MyTech, which is actually still online at the moment, apparently offers these different subscriptions, different prices. One of them cost uh, what equates to $220 per year. And the other one is only $9 for 18 months. I mean, talk about trying to hit every single uh, possible or covering every spectrum of the market. And it just shows that there is a market for very, very cheap IPTV subscriptions. Um, you know, people don't want to spend too much money, especially with these kind of things where there's no guarantee it's going to last for a long time. I mean, I'm sure for $9 for 18 months, you're probably not going to get, you know, the best quality, the most reliable uptime, the best channels. But again, it's certainly cheaper than other packages, definitely cheaper than cable companies. And for many people, they were taking advantage of this uh, price. Now, uh, it says here that the battle for IPTV subscription services or pirate IPTV services continues. And BN Media Group today announced that they had success in this particular legal action. So these companies, as we mentioned before on previous videos, it just it really is just a matter of time. If you get targeted by these media companies, whether it's, you know, Disney or Netflix or Amazon, these companies, massive companies, they have the money, they have the legal power, they have the legal teams, and they will do their absolute best. They'll throw any money, whatever money is needed, and to make sure that you are shut down. The reason why this was a little bit interesting was the fact that they're offering such cheap packages, but they still got targeted and they got uh, shut down. Now, the sports broadcaster said that after filing an application for an emergency injunction in Tunisia, local electronics retailer MyTech is no longer allowed to sell IPTV. And what's interesting, and I will show you in just a second, you can still go to their website and some of these things are still for sale. So, um, I mean, it certainly was yesterday when I read this, but I will just show you in just a second if those things are still available today. And look at this as a statistic where it's saying, according to Bian, more than 80% of consumers in that country use illegal IPTV services. Now, it would be very interesting to find what percentage, for example, in the UK or USA, what is the percentage of people using these pirate IPTV services? I mean, that is a, is a very high number. And again, just shows you how popular or how in demand IPTV services are because Nobody wants to pay those ridiculous prices that cable companies charge or these other subscription services charge. Everybody is looking for a cheaper alternative. And this goes back to my previous point that if the cable companies or these big media companies, if they just offered a fair price and stopped this regular you know, process of increasing prices, so many more people would definitely jump on. I'm not saying everybody, but if you offer a good service at a fair price, many people will actually pay for it for that convenience of having that guaranteed uptime, you know, having support, you know, it's an official service. So if the price is reasonable, many people would pay for that. Now it says that given the extraordinary deals, I mean, yeah, if you can get a subscription for 50 cents a month, then who's going to pay for anything else? Now at the time of writing, they're saying that the subscriptions are still, they're not yet suspended and the website team probably needs some more time to make the changes, but they're saying it that they did some virtual shopping. So let's have a look at that. So if I actually click on this, we can see that they're still offering different packages here. Um, we can see this one, for example, is the 18 month package. And I believe this currency when converted into dollars, it's really not that much at all. So we can see the staff have made those changes to the website, but I'm guessing they are slowly working through that process. And here we can see they're talking about the currency whereby when it says 25,000 TND, because of that dinar is subdivided into thousands. So you can actually just take off the last three digits. So the actual subscription is 25 dinars, which converts to less than $8. 
eight dollars for a 12 month subscription so again you can see why it was very very popular in that country if you can get access to your favorite content all of your sports content at a price of eight dollars for a whole year you can see why many many people jumped on that deal and similarly the actual website is still selling these android boxes pre-configured with that 12 month subscription for under 30 dollars so very very attractive prices even though the box only has one gig ram eight gigs of storage but because it comes with that subscription at under 30 dollars again we could see why it was very very popular so you can see guys with this illegal pirate iptv playing field it does seem like when any of these companies target you in this case we can see this was the bn uh, media group if they target you then they will use their resources to shut you down it doesn't matter if you're a small fish or you have hundreds or thousands of customers if money is involved if these companies find out that they are losing money because you're offering access to their channels you're offering access to copyright content if you're offering that content which you don't own and in many cases or in most cases these iptv sellers don't own the content these companies will go for you and they'll do everything in their power to absolutely shut you down so it does seem like every other day we see another iptv subscription service or another iptv provider being shut down but as we know in this playing field one can get shut down and another two or three or five or ten will pop up just because the demand for this is so high the cost of living everything is going up in prices people are looking for a better deal a cheaper deal and this is why these services will never in my opinion completely shut down but that's pretty much it for this video guys do leave me a comment below let me know what you think about this news story do you agree with me that these iptv services are never going to completely shut down or do you think eventually the authorities the media companies these anti-piracy groups will actually win the war so do leave me a comment below let me know and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks